I'm Jamie King, faculty at Newmont University, sitting here with Jacob Daniel, going to discuss his capstone project. Why don't you tell us about your capstone, Jacob? Uh, the capstone I worked on was an object identifier. The idea is that I take an image that, can, that with an object and try to match it up to another object to classify it. Uh, you can't just do pixel to pixel comparisons because, say, I have a, an apple here that looks like this, and I have another one here that looks like this. They're not the, si the same exact object, obviously, but we as people can recognize that they're the same object. Uh, so, the, so the issue is how do you get a machine to, to learn that? Uh, the first thing I do is edge detection, which I take the image here and uh, I use some vector math to calculate the edges, such as this. Uh, it, it removes some of the detail that I don't need, like the color and some of the extraneous details. and just gives me the overall shape. Uh, from there, I do a shape context algorithm. Uh, which looks at the shape from the point of view of each of the edge, each of the edge pixels, which gives me a, a good shape descriptor that's independent of scale, rotation, and translation. Uh, so I have a few test images here. As you can see, this apple is different than the other ones. It's missing a piece, but the program is still able to recognize this as being uh, an apple. Uh, I use a k-nearest neighbor classifier, which is, which takes a which looks at all of my, compares my image to all of my test data and finds the three closest uh, matches and takes a majority vote among them. And the winner becomes the classification. Uh, as I have an example here, I run my program on this test Apple image that I just showed you and I compare it to each of my test programs, test uh, uh, images. Uh, the lower the value I, I get here, the, the more closely the image matches. So as, as you can see, my closest matches here are Apple 27, Apple 28 and computer 41. So I have two apples and a computer, so my classification would be Apple for this image. So the numbers, are they percentages? or what? what they're they? not really percentages, they're just total cost of matching up points. Every time I compute a cost between point pairs, I add it onto the total. So 20 is good, 20 is bad, 20 is close match? Uh, they're all relative. Like I could have values that are in the 90s, I could have values in the low teens. It's just a how close they are relative to each other. The higher the number, the, uh, the, the, the further away the image is from being neat. a good match. So how much time did you spend on your capstone? It's a 10 week course. It's a 10 week program. Uh, I did about 17 hours for the first uh, several weeks and then for the last two weeks, closer to 30 hours so I can get it finished. Did you learn a lot? Yeah, I did. I learned a lot and it was really exciting, fun. Yeah, and it was clear that you got very passionate about this project. Yeah. Why, why were you so passionate about this? Uh, I think image recognition, image, so image recognition and AI are really like really cool concepts to me that I wanted to learn about, and I decided to go with image recognition for my capstone. Uh, I just thought it'd be really cool. Uh, something that I didn't think was really out there. Like there aren't very very good image recognition programs out there, so I wanted to try one. You have three quarters left. Yeah. And you want? Yeah. And any particular place you're hoping to go? Afterwards, be hired at any company or doing anything specific? Obviously, you mentioned AI. Mm -hmm. Uh, at first, I was looking at game development, but I've kind of uh, moved away from there. I, I, I like, I don't know, I, I, I'm comfortable with anything, really. I'm not really set on anything, <laughs> so. Cool. Hey, your capstone's epic, and the faculty were well impressed, so thank you very much. Thank you.